G'day everyone, welcome to Timepiece Mechanics. My name's Jacob and thanks for joining me today. Here we have my Garmin Epix Gen 2 and the down button isn't working. I'm going to actually show you how to fix this. Most people online or on YouTube will tell you to wash it out with soapy water or put a bit of silicon spray in the button. That doesn't work. You can try that first and you may get lucky, but in my case, it just didn't work. So here I'm turning the watch off and just taking the, the bracelet off. It's quite easy on these, you don't need any tools. Now with this fix, I just have to say, you can do this at your own risk. It's not very hard, but you could easily damage the watch if you do something wrong. And of course, if it's within warranty, Garmin will probably just fix it for you or give you a new one. But in my case, I bought this used, so that's not an option. So this is a T5 Torx bit. And there's four of these T5 screws around the outside of the watch. You only have to take the front off, which is pretty nice. As far as I can see, these micro switches only fit the Epix and the Phoenix 7. So all the other models, you'll kind of just have to check and see if it's going to work for you. And this is actually quite annoying. For me, it was the start-stop button initially, but I pulled it apart a couple of weeks ago and swapped the down button for the start-stop so I could at least use it for activities. But today, I have a new switch and we're going to just replace it so that all of the buttons work. Now I'm just lifting that, that front cover off, the screen off, and there's just one little connector that you have to pop off. Just using my brass tweezers here, and it's as easy as that. Now to set that aside somewhere safe, you don't want to go breaking that or tearing that little ribbon. It's actually crazy to me that this isn't more well known. It's it's quite an easy job. Um, it's just finding the switches that are really hard. Now that the screen's off, you can see here I'm pointing out all of the micro switches for the buttons. Now each button has two little dabs of silicon holding them in. I actually swapped the start stop button for the back button a while ago until I found a new switch to replace it with. So you can see that there's no silicon on, on two of my buttons. So here I'm just using a piece of peg wood or you can use tweezers or a toothpick or something like that. And once the silicon's off, they just pop out. Now just looking at this button here, you can see it's just flat. There's no little button on it at all. I'll just get the other one out and then you can compare the two so you know what it should look like. Now I got this new micro switch from a website called advancedrepair.co.uk and as the name suggests it's in England. I believe they only ship to England which is a bit of a pain but that's what you have to do. Now just giving you a closer look here. Come on focus and yeah, so that's the damaged one. See how there's almost nothing on the top of it there? And this is the new one with a nice silver button on top. So I believe you can get them off eBay as well, but you have to buy the whole middle part of the frame. If you search Garmin middle plastic front frame and then select your watch model, as far as I can see, it gives you the whole frame with all five buttons, so you may be able to scavenge the buttons out of there, but you just have to do your own research with that one. So here I'm just sliding in the new button. There's a couple of little tabs that you've got to push in to make sure they don't catch, and it just slots straight in. It's easy as that. And I'm just using my piece of pegwood here to make sure it's all the way down. 
check in that I get some um, good feedback, some clicking, which I do. And while I'm here, I may as well check the original one that I swapped. So yeah, that's, that's still pushed down well. It's been a couple of weeks and it's still sitting there without that silicon holding it down. And that's that's basically repair done. Now we're just going to blow any dust or anything I got out of it. And and this is probably the trickiest part of the whole job. Trying to get this little ribbon connector back on. It's it's not too difficult if you're patient. Um I try to use some peg wood here. And it was just a little bit awkward with the, with the camera being in the way. So if, you, if you've got rubber gloves on, you can just use your finger. Which, which I'm going to do here. And, and just take your time. Make sure it's lined up. You don't want to force this thing. Because if you damage this, then it's, it's pretty much game over. This is the one, the one tricky bit, the one high risk bit. But like I said, it's not it's not that difficult. And you can see here that blue bit of rubber. That's just the gasket that's falling away. Before you push this connector in, it's probably a good time to change that gasket if you if you wanted to. I don't wear this in the water or in the shower or anything like that, so I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to um, keep the original one in. Now you can see the screen turned on when I plugged that in. I accidentally held down one of the buttons by the looks of it and turned it back on but didn't seem to damage it but I'd I'd probably recommend not not turning it on accidentally okay just making sure that gasket's sitting in there last thing I want is to pinch that little gasket and then end up with a heap of water in there even though I don't swim with it you never know put these four T5 screws back in tighten them down now I'm just gonna nip them a little bit I'm not gonna fully tighten them yet I want to make sure they're all they're all snug first starting at one side and then going to the other side it's around about here that I'm really hopeful this has worked it's been a pain in my butt not having one of these buttons working and I'm sure you're thinking the same thing because you're watching this video just finish tightening down these screws they don't have to be super tight just snug and time to test it out give it a quick wipe much better These really are great watches, these Garmin Epics and the Phoenix. It's just a shame that the, the buttons have kind of let them down. But now that you know how to fix them, no problem. It's all working as it's meant to. And I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope it's saved you some money, or at least you could choose not to do this and use it as an excuse to buy yourself a new watch if that's what you really want to do. But either way, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. See ya.